Hey everybody, this is Peter, and in this video segment, let's configure Checkpoint's uh, URL filtering with their UTM appliances. So, first thing we're going to want to do is log on to the Checkpoint firewall and double click on the uh, on the gateway object, in this case called Splat, and you'll see we have to actually enable web filtering, just like in one of the other videos we did, one of the newer ones, you have to enable antivirus. Uh, same thing with the VPN, if you want your Checkpoint firewall to act as a VPN device, you have to actually enable it on the gateway object. So let's go ahead and press OK, and push a policy out. And now just like with anything at Checkpoint, you make a change to the firewall, you must push it out. A simple save will not do that for you. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is actually test to make sure that we can get to something like Lava Life. And we can. Okay, so right now the URL, fil uh, the URL filtering is not actually enabled. All we did was basically, sorry, it is enabled, it's not active. So basically what we did was enable it on the firewall object, but we have to actually go into the content inspection tab and turn it on for a specific category. Um, and right now, excuse me, lavalife.com doesn't fall into one of the default categories that gets blocked. As you can see, we were allowed to get to it. So let's click on the web filtering policy and turn or enable the uh, personals and dating option which is a block category and we're going to go ahead and leave it as just track the block requests and not the allowed requests and we'll go ahead and push that policy out and try getting to lavalife.com again okay we do a refresh and as you can see page blocked, requested URL is blocked according to the web filtering policy. You can obviously customize this, put your logo on here, uh, maybe redirect them to uh, your internal secure, security policy or acceptable use policy for the internet. <coughs> Let's bring up Smart View Tracker which is Checkpoint's, uh, Checkpoint's log viewer and just take a look at what it would look like in the logs if, uh, if this was to happen. So we click on more information we can see that lavalife.com was blocked in the personals and dating uh, category. And that's about it, guys. Nice short one for you. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Bye.